Matt. I'm one of the co-founders of Loopwork, and we're trying to build, do what for MCP, what Netscape did for HTTP. So uh, let me tell you about IMCP, though. I'm very excited to share this with you. It is the best way to connect all of your Apple stuff to the broader MCP ecosystem. Uh, it's a Mac OS app. It lives right up here in your menu bar, and you click on that icon, and you're going to see all the services it can connect to. Uh, let's start with uh, messages and contacts. We're going to configure Claude Desktop Setup, and let's just go ahead and launch it. We're all ready to go. Uh, we get this approval dialog. We'll say allow. And when we do, we see that IMCP is connected with four tools available to us. For this demo, I want to show you how I just crush it with birthdays. I love being the first person in the group chat to send the little cake emoji when it's somebody's <laughs> birthday. And the way I do this, it's with AI. OK, I'm not going to type this out. I'm just going to like paste this thing. I want to search my messages for any time that I've wished happy birthday to somebody. And if their contact card doesn't have a birthday on it, let's update their contact card. Let's see if this demo will work. So while Cloud is doing its thing, just want to mention that um, IMCP is a uh, native Swift app. We're going to allow to call uh, fetch messages. Uh, it's built on top of the official uh, Swift MCP SDK, which Loopwork maintains. Uh, by the way, if you're a Swift developer, uh, reach out. Let's talk. Uh, love to hear your feedback on the SDK, or we're also hiring. So get in touch. So it found a message. Uh, let's see. Oh, great. Uh, what did it find? It's a message to Payam, of course, on April 4th. Um, let's see there. Don't see any birthday. Uh, yeah. Let's add a birthday. OK. And it's going to ask to call the update contacts tool with day four, month four. Perfect. All right. And now, if I go into Pyam's contacts, there it is, April 4th. Beautiful. So that is just a quick demo of all the thing, one of the things that you can do with IMCP. Lots of other services. You can have uh, events in your calendar. You can create events, view them, uh, get your current location. Weather, of course, that's just the go-to demo for these kinds of things. Uh, we think that integrating all of the things that are normally kind of at arm's reach because Apple doesn't want you to access your own data behind the walled garden. Uh, this gives you a way to punch through that and connect it to the broader MCTP ecosystem. Really excited what uh, you all will do with it. So if you want to take a look, it's at imcp.app, which is just a redirect to a GitHub. It's all open source. Take a look. Love to hear what you think. Thank you. Can you like one question? Yeah, let's do it. How are you accessing the messages? Because I thought that was locked That is a down. very good question. Apple does not want you to access messages. But the Messages app needs to store its data somewhere. And that somewhere is a SQLite database. So I, th there's a, some demo magic there. If you, when you run this the first time, it's going to ask you to open it up through an open panel, which gives it magic security properties. Uh, but yeah, that's, that's the way it connects. So we just reverse engineer it. Uh, we ported a Rust library that reverse engineered the, the type stream format. Uh, it's also open source, so if you're building an iOS or Mac OS app, uh, have at it. Thanks, everybody. Give it up again for Matt. Thanks so much.